Princess we'll Diaries go. goes so hard. Play Long at Tottenham, right Tottenham. Uh. <laughs> Even me, I'm not going there. You'll not catch me there. I can't lie. <laughs> yes, people, I'm Ralph, and I'm joined by Katie McCabe for 20 Questions. First question, who was your childhood hero? Childhood hero growing up would have been Damien Duff. Shout. Le- left foot, left wing, played for Ireland, so it was something I wanted to do. Who would play you in a movie? That's a good question. Hit me with some names. Oh, I love Anne Hathaway. Princess we'll Diaries go- goes so hard. Yeah, we'll go Anne Hathaway. A player you'd have liked to play alongside? Yeah, I reckon Roy Keane. Oh, yeah, midfield, strong, good leader. So, yeah, Roy Qualities Keane. you share? I would hope to. I w- it's nice to be uh, compared to Roy Keane, but yeah, maybe it's the Irish in us. What's been the best performance of your career so far? I think one that stands out was, I think it was like two seasons ago where I got injured against Bayern Munich, came off the pitch basically on crutches, and then a few days later we played Man City at home and I'd scored the winner. And it was a big, yeah, it was a big win for us in, in the league. Best Christmas present you've ever received? I asked... Uh, Santa Claus for a long sleeve Ireland shirt with duff on the back and I got it so Ooh. yeah he's so never it's come football. he's never come through for me so I'll no. the words <laughs> your favourite person to talk football with yeah I guess my, my dad my dad really he knows me obviously inside out since I'm uh, young and um, when I've been playing well and not playing well so it's always yeah nice to speak to him about it. what Irish food should English people try I didn't know there was such a thing as Irish food. I didn't actually write these questions, but <laughs> was there something that people have a lot in Ireland that you think? I feel like you can get everything from Ireland in England these days. Potato crisps, yeah. Potato crisps what, are nice. Because you can get like Kerrygold butter and stuff like that. You don't even know what that is, oh, I reckon okay. now. It's a type of butter. Yeah. Um, we'll go with potato crisps. Favourite sports person outside of football? I'm in the last year, I'm loving the NFL. Patrick Mahomes, I think he's been a yeah a serial quarterback for for the Chiefs. I haven't watched the Netflix documentary, and now I'm onto the receiver documentary. It's nice to kind of get an insight to what other sports do, even the F1 documentary as well. So yeah, I've been looking at kind of Patrick Mahomes. As Have you been to any? Uh, no, I'd love to. I'd love to go. They're in London quite a lot. But a Play lot at of Tottenham, isn't Tottenham. It? <laughs> <laughs> Even me, I'm not going there. You'll not catch me there. I can't lie. A moment in sport outside of football that gives you goosebumps? My life has just been football, really. Um, a moment, a football moment that has given you goosebumps. Oh, okay. Watched, I actually was watching the um, Champions League game with Villa and Bayern Munich the other night, and Villa obviously beating Bayern Munich 1 0, and the whole place erupting. So if you're a big Villa fan, like that would have been nice. But I think just from a neutral perspective, it was nice to see Villa being successful. Best player you've ever faced? Oh, I've played a lot, yeah, against a lot of um, world-class players. I think, yeah, Car- when we played against um, Barcelona in the Champions League, Caroline Graham Hansen was a handful. She's just really good in terms of the ball at her feet, her dribbling ability. Um, she can go either way, so that's always a, a tricky opponent. Funniest player at Arsenal? Is it you? The way you I'm just start this smile, yeah, you're up yeah. there. <laughs> No, I'm up there, but I have to give that to to Beth. She's got like a personality that kind of, um, yeah, she just gets along with everybody and makes even the serious ones laugh as well. Does so. she play any pranks or anything? She's not really a big prankster, but just in terms of what she says, I can't repeat it on camera. <laughs> if you could meet three sports people, past or present, who would they be? I think Michael Jordan up there for sure. I think it'd be pretty cool to meet Patrick Mahomes and Lewis Hamilton. Three different, three different sports. These guys are still around. I'm sure that can happen. I don't know, at some maybe. Point a musician you'd like to see live? Fisher, DJ. DJ Fisher. Yeah. Is that real? Well, his name's Fisher. Oh, okay. He's is an Australian she, DJ. Is she telling the truth, yeah. Is it's that true. is that someone that exists? That's someone that exists. Okay. Do you want me to say like Taylor Swift or something? I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind a bit of Taylor. What key stats do you look for after a game? My stats based on kind of my playing position would be the high speed running meters. It's so important for me to kind of hit those marks during the 
the week in training leading up to those games so that my body's been exposed to it and is is, uh, is ready to, to kind of go in prime for, for game day. So they'd be the ones after training and after games that I'd look at. Outside of football, which sport are you best at? I gave golf a go about two years ago. The clubs are still still in the house. Um, I'm trying to get into paddle now. Yeah, everyone's so, jumping onto paddle. Yeah. Isn't it? I didn't it, even know that was a thing. Nah, like it's it's really big, obviously, in like Spain and that because it's the weather. But I'm trying to get into it over here, but I don't have that much free time. So, would you rather learn how to paint, play the piano, or perform magic? Paint, nah, I like magic. That would be cool. So you just do that at any stage, like. Yeah, well, I'm trying to think. What would I pick? I don't know, I mean piano. I reckon I'll just be in the middle of like, you know, shopping malls, just playing. Just King's Cross, yeah, exactly. you on the piano. I'll just end up on TikTok somewhere. <laughs> Three teammates you'd want to see on I'm a Celebrity. I'll do Irish teammates and Arsenal teammates because there's a few characters in Ireland. Her name's Neve Fahey from Ireland. She's a Liverpool captain. She can go on there. I'd like to see how Beth Mead did get on. I think she's got the personality as well. And then the last one... Who well, else would be funny to go on I'm a Celebrity? You? Yeah, I'll go in there as well. Although I hate all that spiders and all Yeah, that. no, I can't. Yeah. Your walkout music if you're a boxer? If I was a boxer, I think it'd be like some Irish Sinead O'Connor. No yeah. fight did hurt. Yeah. <laughs> no battle drum. Goosebumps. Yeah, one of those. Your favourite restaurant? Sexy Fish. Oh, do you like Sexy I Fish? I like Sexy Fish. I like the vibe, the food. I don't like the food. I like the drinks and you the vibe. Don't like the food. No, it's the why? My, because like the Asian food around my area, you know, when it's got like three stars on the door for hygiene. That's how you know. You gotta go to Uncle at the bottom of the road in the Chinese shop, <laughs> get your three star hygiene. Might get might have a sore stomach the next morning, but it's worth it. <laughs> What's your favorite type of goal to score? Long Ranger. On a, or a volley long catching volley. a a long range volley catching a sweet volley is can't beat the feeling any match day superstitions and if you don't have any have you seen any that are a bit um, I don't really have any um, I think every game is different so you have to prepare a little bit differently for every game I've seen a few where like goalkeepers would be juggling it's always the goalkeepers that have yeah, the weird ones nutters, yeah, they? yeah 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 Wow, that was it. 20 yeah, questions. With it. Katie McCabe, thank you so much for your time. Are we doing that? Oh yeah. my God, that was clean. That was clean. <laughs>